the RTX 5090 will be built on a 4 nanometers process because 5 nanometers chips cost $20,000. Virtually all of the major processor lines introduced this year feature TSMC's advanced 5 nanometers process technology, featuring an amazing transistor density of more than 200 million per square millimeter. AMD's Ryzen 7000, Radeon 7000, Epic Genoa, Bergamo and Cine processors take advantage of the advanced 10.5 process technology. Even Nvidia, a close competitor, uses the same chip for its GeForce RTX 4000 series GPUs and the powerful Hopper H100 data center accelerator. Notably, Intel also plans to use this manufacturing technology for the IGBO of its upcoming 14th generation Meteor Lake processors. However, the successor of the 5 nanometer node may face a different fate, especially in the initial stages. TSMC has set a high price of $20,000 per wafer for its N3 process technology, which is 25% more expensive than 5 nanometers wafers. In addition, the 3 nanometers process provides only a 30% improvement in density. According to TSMC's senior management, the 3 nanometers process will be a significantly more profitable technology than the 5 nanometers process. Net revenue for N3 based on analysts' reports, should be $1.5 trillion, and one of the main sources of revenue will be Apple. If Samsung's 3 nanometers process is 10 to 15% denser or as efficient as TSMC's N5 process, then the advantage may be in Samsung's favor. This could potentially lead to the production of the next generation GeForce RTX 5090 and its analogs on the Samsung node. On the other hand, AMD is likely to remain loyal to TSMC, although it may consider moving some small-scale chip production to Samsung. Samsung has already signed agreements with various chip manufacturers, including Qualcomm, NVIDIA, IBM, and Baidu, 